Hey everybody, welcome to uh, another another episode of uh, my multi-tool discussion. And uh, this week I thought I'd talk about some of my experiences with uh, warranties, you know, getting getting things fixed. You know, each one of them says they have a, uh, you know, varying degree of uh, warranty. Let me just tell you about some of my personal experiences. Some of my personal experiences with uh, with whether or not they actually do, or what uh, you know, kind of took place, you know, as uh, I filed a, a warranty claim, and and what you know, kind of what went down and what I broke, and so we'll just talk about it, and we'll start uh, start uh, left to right, I guess here, and these are all recent. Um, I've had other you know uh, experiences with them, but I thought I would do a a uh, you know, a recent, a more recent um, experience. I had a couple of uh, multi-tools uh, break in various ways and filed a warranty claim. So let's kind of go through with, uh, go go through how it went and what happened. So let's start with, uh, let's start with Gerber. Uh, let's see here. I filed a Gerber uh, warranty claim, uh, MP400, and this is the, uh, center drive as you can see let's see here on the mp400 i broke the file on the uh, gerber center drive a weird freak thing happened where these the uh the stud that holds the tools in place uh the end of it snapped off and it's just uh kind of got snagged on something and just snapped it right off inside there so that's what happened, you know, basically rendering the, the tool uh, mostly useless. So just kind of a, a free cap and stance. I sent this one off on, on May 8th, okay? I filed the warranty claim on this one on May 10th, okay? And let me just kind of uh, describe what uh, transpired. I get an email saying, hey, thank you for... Uh, filing your warranty claim, uh, we're a little backed up because of COVID. Um, that's uh, going to be a little bit longer than normal. And uh, please be patient. And then you hear nothing. We got an email uh, a little bit later. I got an email. Uh, uh, and it basically said, you know, hey, thanks for sending us a picture. But you, you know, you sent a picture of the actual trouble uh of the problem with the tool, but not the whole whole tool. We need that for identification purposes or something. So basically, I took a picture of, of how you would think. They required me to take a picture, and I took a picture of the problem. This is the problem that's uh, that that uh, where it snapped off, and I kind of took a uh, a picture of this part of the tool all the way to the uh, end, uh, definitely showcasing the problem area. Uh, this one. The, uh, uh, let's see here, the file had broke. So I took a picture of the broken file and that's kind of uh, what happened there. And in both the instances, they sent an email uh, asking me to take a picture of the whole tool that I didn't need to take a picture of the, uh, the offending uh, location or the broken area of the tool. They needed a picture of the whole thing. So I resent in a picture uh, via email, uh, and this one here I heard the very next day. This one here took uh, three or four days later, uh, basically saying, thank you, your your warranty has been processed. You will get an email when uh, your new tool ships. And I was like, oh, okay, I don't have to send in the old tool. Wow, that's kind of cool. So with this one, I did get an email letting me know that my replacement had shipped. With the center drive, I never got that email. I never got the email letting me know that, that it ever ships. So I'm sitting here waiting, waiting, going, what, what's going on? Because uh, this one came first, and I, I got an email right away. This one, I didn't get an email. I didn't know what was, you know, what was going on. I was kind of confused by the whole thing. So, uh, so basically, that's the experience. I did get an email, did not get an email. Not really a, a big deal. Just one day, my replacement showed up. Uh, here, out of the blue, um, the replacement for this one just showed up in the mailbox one day. Had no idea it was even coming. This one, you know, I had a tracking number. I knew when it was coming, the whole nine yards. So 
uh, this one went down according to plan. So let's start with the center drive. The center drive, they sent me a brand new tool. This is a, a brand spanking uh, Gerber center drive. It, I, it, they sent me the box, the whole nine yards, as if I uh, purchased it again. Uh, this one is brand spanking new. Um, so that's what happened there. Everything is, uh, is as if it were new and I, I couldn't be more happy with the outcome of this. They, they said, uh, you know, so my opinion is, is that the Gerber warranty is legit. Um, and I guess, um, I, I personally liked how the Gerber warranty worked where I still have my old one, which I've, I've fixed by buying a, you know, a cheap, you know, as cheap, a uh, uh, MP 600 as I could find. And I replaced the stud. I took the stud out of the MP 600 and, uh, replaced this in my, uh, center drive. So I'm still using this. Um, and I've actually, because now I have two of them, I'm, I went ahead and modified this one, which we'll talk about in, a, in another video. I'm going to make a video on some of my easy peasy, uh, modifications I've made to uh, my multi-tools that make them, you know, a lot better. Uh, so we'll talk about that in an upcoming video sometime, but, uh, this particular one is just about the warranty and how it worked out. So this worked out, couldn't be happier. This one that was kind of a different story. Now, remember I said what broke on this uh, was the file. The file is what broke on this tool. So Gerber sent me a, a replacement one of these. It was brand new in the box, just like this, but it didn't have a file. They sent me the version of this tool that did not have the file. They sent me the one that had the scissors and not the file, the sport version of this tool. And that's kind of weird. You know, I said, hey, I broke my file, and then they sent me one that didn't have a file. So that's kind of weird. Um, not like the biggest deal in the world, but I need a file on my tool. So... Uh, you know, uh, you know, when I carry the, uh, the MP 400, I mean, I require a file. So that was just kind of, mm, I mean, I don't know how to feel about that exactly. Not the end of the world or anything, but, um, and it worked out in the end. The other thing was, is that the tool was not marked, uh, uh, Gerber USA anymore. And I was like, well, that's kind of weird. It just said Gerber on it, you know? And then I couldn't help but notice that the quality of the tool just wasn't as good as the one that I had, especially, especially in the plier head area. So I just went, holy crap, man. And then there was something in there saying that um, the tool was uh, assembled in the United States and may or may not have parts made in the United States or something to that effect. So what I feel happened is, is uh, either they don't make this tool in the United States anymore or because it was a warranty claim, <clears throat> they sent me one that wasn't made in the United States, uh, you know, uh, assembled here or whatever. But the glaring, um, you know, the, the glaring difference was in the plier head. The plier head was definitely of a lower quality. It... Uh, you know, it didn't operate freely like this. It was very stiff, and I, I still have the parts and stuff. All the parts from the new one they sent me, put them in my old tool. This is my old frame. This is my old plier head. And I used, uh, you know, some of the new tools, used some of my old ones, and basically made a custom one out of two tools and, uh, and uh, then took the scissors out took the file from the MP600 that I purchased to fix this over here. So I ended up, you know, getting my MP400 back with the, with the file. It's now got a serrated only blade. So when I carry the MP400, I carry my, uh, you know, I carry a, another knife with this. So this has only got a serrated blade. This is the serrated blade from the center drive. So basically I took all of this and made 
the tool I wanted, basically, um, out of what they sent me. So um, not like the biggest deal in the world, but that I just needed to report what happened. Okay, so moving on. If you have any questions about anything I've, I've said, by the way, drop them into the comments and I'd be happy to answer them. So that's what happened with Gerber. With Leatherman, kind of all this kind of happened at the same time. My P4, if uh, you've watched my P4 re review, you, you know that um, I've always had problems with the plier head on this tool. Uh, just like a lot of people had, the, the plier head on this thing was just stiff. And if I squeezed it real hard, it would bind up and I would have to, you know, do this, do this number right here to shake it to, uh, to get it to uh, loosen back up. And it was just, that's just not, not cool. It's not cool. $140 tool. I know they dropped the price now, but that's what it was when I got it. Definitely not cool. And then after I was making the video, I was, you know, and after the comments that I made, I just couldn't help but thinking, why am I putting up with this? Why am I, why am I tolerating a, a, a plier head that doesn't work properly? You know, and I just got to thinking, you know what, I'm sending it back. So I sent this back the 26th of May. They received it on the 4th of June. And then I received it back here at my house uh, on the 17th of June. So that's uh, the time frame that, uh, that we got on this here. Now, what, what did they do? Basically, they sent me the same tool. I'm not one of the people who uh, got a new tool um, from Leatherman. They sent me the same one back. And what it appears to have happened, as you can see, they heavily oiled the plier it, it looks to me that they used something to beat on the center pin right here because there are marks. There's a divot here and there are marks here. Um, so that's what looks like they did. And this plier is not completely fixed. Like if I squeeze the handle hard uh, it will stiffen up and I and it will loosen up, but it never um, becomes unusable. It, it's uh, you know so my, in my opinion, did they fix this? I, I would say barely. I would say they I mean you can see the marks on the plier head. They didn't even replace the plier head. It looks like they beat on it with something. See, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but see the marks right there? Can you see that? And then right here? I don't know. Maybe you can see that. Maybe you can. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's that's what they did. They sent me back the same tool. I also complained that my um, that my uh, reamer all was damaged, and they replaced this with a new one. So those are the two things they did. They lubed it up. It didn't need to be cleaned or anything like that. So they heavily oiled the pliers. It came back with just oil just all over the plier head. Um, you know, the plier is definitely working now. I'm not like mad about it or anything. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave that up to you. My my thoughts on the thing is, is I, I think they should have replaced the plier head. <laughs> um, I mean, you can clearly see how they beat the snot. Well, it looks like they beat it pretty good, or they have some sort of tool that presses on this or does something to loosen up this plier head. But it, but it didn't come back the way it left, you know, as far as, uh, but I, I guess it's a plier head. I mean, you know, some people are just going to go, well, it's, you know, it's a tool, it's pliers. What do you care if it's got a mark on it? Well, I mean, because, um, this isn't like a hard use tool for me. This is a, a collector tool for me, for me personally. I'm not going to really, you know, I wasn't planning on using this uh, as a, as, you know, for heavy duty, like take to work kind of work stuff. I was going to use this as an urban, uh, you know, when I'm off work, uh, you know, about the town, you know, when I'm a, when I'm a guy about town. So I've got mixed feelings about, uh, about this uh, experience with, the warranty so so yeah that's how i feel about that i mean yeah 
It's better than it was. It sucks I had to send it off. Um, I got nothing more in the box. You know how like some people say, oh, well, they sent me a, you know, a sheath or they sent me a clip or they did this or that or whatever. They did nothing for me. They packaged this really poorly too. That was another thing I wanted to mention. They basically put this in one of those thin plastic um, bubble wrap, not even like one of those, uh, you know, normal uh, paper ones that's paper on the outside and big, thick bubble wrap on this. This was like thin, like Amazon type, uh, you know, local delivery packaging. Uh, and they didn't wrap this in anything, nothing, just threw it into the envelope, this like plastic, thin uh, bubble wrap type envelope and then just threw it in there and that's how they shipped it so i wasn't really uh, tickled pink about that i mean um that just kind of in my opinion kind of uh deteriorated from my uh, from my experience with the warranty uh, service um i mean i think they did a bare minimum that's how i feel about it i think they fixed the tool to my satisfaction to where i'm not going to pick up the phone and complain but just barely i mean just barely so um yeah so that's how i feel i guess i'm not gonna uh, talk too much more about it and then let's move on to uh sog this one's gonna be really short uh on my sog i recently broke the very tip 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 of the tip off the very tip of the tip 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 i broke it right off so um i go to the website and I'll show you what I found when I get to the website. I'll pop it up on the screen right now. And basically, uh, they're not doing warranty. So this kind of reminds me of that uh, movie Tommy Boy where he, uh, where he says, look, uh, hey, I can uh, shit in a box and uh, market warranty if, if you want, if that'll make you feel better. Well, that's kind of how I feel about this situation. Lifetime warranty is, is fantastic, but mm, lifetime warranty that I can't, uh, use for a long time or months or ever um, is not a warranty at all. I, I don't, uh, yeah, so I don't feel good about this one at all. Um, I mean, not at all. Uh, keep in mind that these other companies are also in the same area. I believe that these, uh, Gerber is in, um, I'm not positive off the top of my head, but I'm wanting to say they're in, uh, somewhere around uh, Portland, Oregon. And same with uh, Leatherman. And they're like right across the, the border into Washington. So same area. So yeah, and another thing, if you read the fine print on the warranty, you know, cause I was going, well, if I fix this myself, like you can clearly see I did, I fixed it. And it turns out that this ended up a better, a better uh, deal anyway. The way that the, these plier head, this plier head is now, I really like it. This modification, this forced modification, I should say, ended up working out really well, and I like it a lot. Uh, so yeah, it all worked out for the best. But uh, come to find out that SOG also does not cover any of the tools. Like if you break one of the tools, you can buy an, a replacement to that tool, and you can put it in yourself and replace it but they don't cover any of the tools. You know what I mean? Like if you were to break the screwdriver or break the can opener or uh, whatever, they don't cover the tools at all. They cover the, the frame and the plier head. So there's not really much to tell you. I never got to get, uh, never got to send this off and see how it worked out. And uh, I'm probably never going to uh, even bother uh, looking into SOG's warranty ever again that's how i feel about that i mean i think that's a that's a complete fail but i thought some of you guys might be interested in that maybe you uh, broke one of these brand tools yourself and you're kind of wondering what the process was like hope this shed some light on it like comment and subscribe i uh, sure would appreciate it and uh, we'll catch you on the next one on and in